Mm -hmm. I think we can start. What's up guys? In my previous video I told you about picture profiles in Sony cameras. We compared flat picture profiles with Rec. 709. So now we already understand what we have and what we need to use in each particular case. If you didn't see this video, I highly recommend it to check it in this link. So today I decided to show you how to shoot and color grade flat picture profiles as HOG3 with color mode BT2020 and S-Log2 with color mode as gamut from my Sony A6400. But before we get started, I want to say as usual, thank you for your attention to my channel, I really appreciate that. And if it's the first time you're watching me, my name is Vlad and I will be grateful for your subscription, comment, like and let's go ahead and dive right in. First of all, let's quickly check settings in my camera. I will shoot with my favorite lens Tamron 1770 f2.8 in 4K 25 FPS. When I shoot outside or some commercial videos, when I need to do a lot of work in color grading, I will definitely use HLG. When I shoot my YouTube videos or something for myself, I will use my custom Sign 4. As I said before, I will use picture profile HLG3 with color mode BT2020 without any additional changes in settings. And then I will shoot with S-Log2 color mode as gamut and without additional changes as well. And let's start with HLG3. First of all, I will change focus area to white and then manually set focus on our subjects. As usual, we will expose a frame from 0 to 0 0.7, let it be 0 0.3. Then our shot won't look underexposed and overexposed as well. We of course can do it with the help of ISO, aperture and in extremely case with shutter speed. If you have overexposed frame, your ISO already down and you don't have indie filter for your lens, well, then you will have to sacrifice your bokeh if we are talking about aperture or your cinematic movement and standard in film industry if we are talking about shutter speed. I shoot with 25 fps, therefore my shutter speed should be 50 x2 of my fps. If you want to get more realistic movement cinematic with motion blur as so like and familiar for our eyes, like in movies. Finally little theory ended and let's take some footages. Great, now I will change picture profile to S-Log2 as gamut. As I said before in my previous video, when you are shooting with S-Log2, you need to overexpose your frame from 1.7 to plus 2. Nearly this range, but no more. Because we don't need overexpose our frame too much. Due to this, you will get more information from shadows and less noise. As you see, I haven't gotten enough light, therefore I needed to append my ISO to 1250 because I decided to choose aperture 2.8 and save my bokeh. Some additional adjusts and let's also take some footages with S-Log2. Great, I think it will be enough for our work and we can move to my laptop and start our color grading. So guys, here is our two footage, it is Final Cut Pro 10, I use this program for editing all my videos. Here is footage HLG3 and here is S-Log2. And let's start with first footage HLG3 BT2020. First of all, we need to convert this flat footage to Rec. 709 and we will do it with effect custom LUT. Let's take it and put on our video. And now we need to use one specific LUT HLG, I will put it on the description below the video, you can use it for free. And as you can see it's not enough, we need to change input from Rec. 709 to BT2020 HLG. And now our footage looks much better. We can use our video scope to see what is going on with our highlights and shadows. As for me, everything pretty well, it is good with highlights, it is good with shadows, maybe I will... Actually, I don't know what else I can do with this footage. As I said before, with HLG you don't have any problems in color grading, you just use one custom LUT and that's all. 
So I highly recommend it if you don't want to do a lot of color grading with your footage and you want to be fast. And let's go further to the next footage. As you can see we also have flat footage, it is s log, so we need to use custom LUT. And of course we need to use one specific LUT for our s log 2 s gamut, which I will also put on the description below the video for you for free. Resin GS s log Rex 709 as you can see, this footage already done, and <laughs> I will put down a little bit shadows. Actually, I don't know what else I can do with these footages, I see that everything is good with highlights, midtones and shadows as well. In my opinion, HLG footage looks more soft and with a little bit teal tint, but in the same time all colors look normal and white balance is correctly. s -Log footage looks more realistic without any additional tint like in real life and it's cool as well. As you can see, if you previously did everything right in video shooting, not overexposed frame or vice versa, everything will be great on the post and you won't need to do anything else in color grading. Of course, if you want to get other color tint or temperature, or you want to get more contrast picture, you will need to do some additional changes in settings, but it is already your style and your vision of creativity. I will remind you that flat picture profiles gives you more opportunity in color grading, more dynamic range and flexibility of your footage. If you want to get the maximum information from shadows, highlights, colors, you will definitely need to use flat picture profiles. I really hope this video helped you to understand how to color grade these flat picture profiles as HLG, S-Log and it was interesting and clearly. If it was, don't forget to give this video a like, please subscribe and see you on the next videos. You could try to play, but you're never gonna beat me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me. Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me. Looking for change, looking for pain. Pulling a mob, pushing a train. I'll never stop, stick to a lane. Pick up the pieces and go rearrange.